welcome back. So today's Chit Chatter Day, I want to do another Get Ready With Me. I've kind of been on a roll with these, but I'd love to film these. Um, I just love to sit back and chit chat with you. That's like my favorite part of my channel. Um, and lately I've been kind of in a, a, what is it, an ebb? Ebb and flow of creativity. I'm more in like the ebb of what to make other than just to sit down and chat about life and what's been going on the last week. And today we're going to be um, featuring quite a few Pixie products. Um, this box landed on my doorstep. In fact, my kids were like, what is that? I'm like, I have no idea. Um, and I opened it up and it looks like there are a bunch of um, products that are collabs with different influencers. Uh, Rach H Loves, this is like a highlighter palette. I'm not familiar with all of these influencers, but we have like highlighty type products. I'll show them to you as we use them. An eyeshadow palette, lip gloss, a cream shadow stick, um, like some glittery toppers, which I've had these uh, last year. I have like six of these. Um, it must be some new colors and just kind of like fun things to play with. So that's going to kind of be what I'm featuring today. Um, so if you're new, welcome. Please subscribe. Love to have you here. And um, let's get into this. And so as you can see, I did decide to go in and get these bangs back. What I like about them though is the versatility of bangs. Um, I find for me it kind of adds a youthful factor to my look. And sometimes I like to wear a full bang. Other times I like to do like a, a PC bang. Um, or like a side swoop bang, or maybe no bang. I just like having the option. And I find for me, it's just more of a harsh look to have your whole forehead exposed, and I'm just not that comfortable. Anyways, if my voice sounds a little bit off, I have still not yet decided if this is allergies, which I don't normally have seasonal allergies, but since moving to Texas, um, Oh, my kids, my husband especially, he's always had seasonal allergies, but since moving here, it's been off the charts. Um, he's even had surgery to, um, what is it, get rid of his turbinates that have, like, blocked his breathing and all that kind of thing. Um, and so, I don't know. <laughs> I had this horrible cough at night. I can't get to sleep. Um, you know, like all that green slime that you blow out in the morning. And so, I don't feel sick. That's the thing. Like, during the day, I don't feel sick. But then on the other hand, I got my windows open because it's finally like 50-something, 60-something in the morning, and I have been waiting for this for months. I love to have my windows open. I love the days where you can have your windows open all day long because it's just gorgeous out. And I love to hear my birds chirping in the backyard. I have bird feeders out back, and I just love to hear nature. And, you know, as you know, it's hot here in the summer, okay? So that AC and the windows close, I just can't wait until we can actually open up and let... Let your house breathe a bit, you know? I'm going to go in with my NARS Sheer Glow. So, um, <laughs> I am starting to notice all kinds of different things that are showing up. You know, when you're younger, you think that, um, you know, someday I'll get old, someday I'll feel creaky and just sore and for no reason, and someday, right? Well, that someday has now arrived. So a few years ago, I had pulled a muscle, and it's... It aggravates itself every once in a while. Um, and so that's kind of been messing with me this last week. And then my husband and I, um, we decided to go try, try, I say try, because we really tried, um, to play tennis. And we don't know what we're doing. It was more of like a whim, let's go buy tennis rackets, and there's a court here, and we live in an HOA, so essentially we're paying for that, and we've never used it. And we're like, let's go try, oops, sorry, I keep... I have a microphone closer to my mouth. I hope this makes a difference. If it doesn't, it's going back up on that camera because it's like, hello, in the way. <laughs> and so I'm sorry if I keep hitting it. I'll try to cut out those parts. Anyways, we went and played tennis. It was like nice temperatures, cold and kind of rainy and dreary. And we were like, yes, we can go outside. <laughs> and those of you who live in like a rainy climate, you're like, yeah, it's like that all the time. Um, but see here, <laughs> when it's hot, we don't go outside. So we went and played which was comical because to keep the ball on the court was our challenge. Not to keep it in the boundaries, but within the fence boundaries was like what we were going for. Like if we could keep it there, that was good. So, you know, moving and playing tennis is a workout and it's difficult and long story short, I aggravated a knee injury that I gave myself uh, in college. You wanna know how I got that? Well, you see, I was multitasking. I was running on the treadmill and trying to read. You know, it gives you so much reading. Like, I think it was like an English English literature course that I was taking, and there was like so much reading. It wasn't even like good reading. It was like some of the things you had to read were like, you know, so I'm like, okay, I'll just knock this out while I'm running. Well, until you 
fall off of the treadmill. Um, and that's exactly what I did. It was so embarrassing. I'm so glad there wasn't like a ton of people in the gym at that time. Um, but I fell off the treadmill. <laughs> Not gracefully, okay? And my knee like swelled, swelled all up. And ever since then, every once in a while, it gets aggravated. Well, I aggravated that playing tennis. Okay, so I'm using this Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. I really don't like this. I think it's too dry. Um, but it's one of those products where you bought it. So now you need to like either A, use it up. Or B, throw it out. And hold up. Yeah, it's too dry of a consistency. I much prefer the Mab... What is the other one? L'Oreal that I use all the time. So this week, in a nutshell, for me, just physically, uh, I got this bum knee. <laughs> My chest muscles have been throbbing. And then I have this weird, like, head cold slash maybe allergies going on. And it just so happens to coincide with the week that my husband's been gone for work. And so... Hello, airplane. You don't often hear those out here. And for some reason, whenever the airplanes fly over our housing area, it's always military planes because, well, obviously we live sort of kind of close to base. Turn my ring light down a little bit. I prefer a video where when I see what I see in the viewfinder is a little bit truer to color than um, just having everything be on blast and super bright. And I feel like you can see my skin better when the lights turn down now it's a little bit darker for YouTube purposes I know in all like really professional nice videos they're super bright but I need better quality lighting first of all and I'm not going to invest in that right now and I'm okay with you seeing my skin as is now when the lights are turned down you can also see texture so I don't love that and I can also tell you the older that I get working with this HD camera is really depressing like it makes you look worse than you actually do in person other than all my physical ailments another thing okay let's just keep going there because i know a lot of my viewers are my age or older what is today wednesday i know what they're doing they're practicing for there must be a graduation every i think it's every couple weeks on thursday is when a new round of um what's the proper word people that go through basic training they graduate um, and so they must be practicing with the, with those jets. I'm going to kind of do a little bit of powder today. With, and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless um, Setting Powder here. Flawless, flawless, oh goodness, Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder. I have the shade Fair. I'm going to throw on a little bit of the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It's been a while since I've done a really glamorous makeup look and since I've worn false lashes and I'm really kind of feeling like doing that today because it's been so long. It's like you get in a, a rut or like you're really into a certain thing and then that slowly fades away or you miss certain aspects of a makeup, like types of makeup that you used to do and you just kind of want to like do it again. And so I feel like doing something super glamorous. So a couple things um, we can use here today are the Pixi Plus Heart Defensor. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette called Double Tap. It's actually a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I swatched all the colors the other day just before uh, playing around with it a little bit. So I've only used this one time. But there's what the uh, uh, colors look like. I'm getting a little bit of um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance vibe with this. This isn't reinventing the wheel. This is not like a new color scheme. But for the drugstore, um, I like these pixie eyeshadows. I think they're really... They're workable. They blend well. In fact, some of my older shadows that are like Too Faced, NARS, Tom Ford, um, they aren't blending as well anymore. So I don't know if it's because they've gotten old or if the eyeshadow formulations in these other brands, like cheaper brands like Pixie, have just gotten better. Um, and then I thought maybe we'd... I just primed my eyes though. Hmm. Well, I did use this on a Sunday. Uh, I was doing a makeup look. This is their Endless Shade Stick. It is a cream shadow stick in the color one and done this is actually really pretty so what i did was i used this as my base and then i popped one of the gold shadows in this palette over it this blended out very well it was very creamy it really reminded me of like the laura mercier um little cream shadow sticks now for me i can't get these to last on me anymore at least not by themselves now i think maybe they'd last better with a primer and then this uh for me but it is nice, it was easy to work with, and it is a really pretty shade. I believe this comes in a kit, though, with something else, and I threw away all the packaging. So I think it might actually come maybe with these highlighters in a package. 
so uh, because both of them say from head to toe on them look at me being all so this is a glowy powder called Wednesdays I don't know where you're supposed to put this because it's quite dark for a highlighter maybe on a deeper skin tone that would work as an actual highlighter I'm just thinking it's a pretty eyeshadow or maybe like if you wanted a really glowy all over face look when you're going out with your girls or even on your decollete or something but definitely not for me on the tops of my cheekbones and then the other one is called fetch so I think that this came in that kit I'll just swatch stuff for you and show you what it looks like and I'll link it below so you can see what comes with what but that is the color fetch I think both of those would make very beautiful eyeshadows a couple other eye products we could play with today too are these Pixie Plus Miriam Maquillage. Ma I'm not sure. Um, this one's called Starry Night. And basically, you know those Stila Glitter and Glows are just like a liquid glitter situation. That's what these are. This one doesn't swatch very well. I haven't yet applied it, but it's like a dark... What, would, what did I say this was called? Starry Night? Because it's like a black with gold um, glitter throughout. And then this other one is called Mirage. This one's really pretty. We might have to throw this one on today. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. I really like this one. I'm not really into super dark eyelid colors. I, I mean on the outside of my eyes, yes, but all over my lid, I really think I look better with a lighter color because my eyes are deeper set. I really feel like when I have dark all over that the, I just kind of look like I got punched in the eyes. But that color, the Mirage color, it kind of shifts like a green, like a gold goldish pink to green it's really pretty we might have to play with that one today so those are the options for eye products so let's start off in this palette with the one that is making the most sense to me which is going to be this top one right here so how have you guys been i hope you don't have any weird physical ailments going on and i hope you guys have been having a good fall it's finally starting to feel like fall here and it quite literally renews me um i was feeling very weary and kind of in a funk and just like a grumpy mood like the past month you know coming off the tail end of my husband being gone he got back and that that helped obviously um and then the fact that the temperatures have cooled down uh we've been able to walk to school in a it's been pleasurable instead of like oh my gosh it's so hot <laughs> The sun here like pierces your, your skin. Like I can feel my skin burning. I can almost feel age spots forming. Like it's intense. And I'm sure it's like that in other places, but I think what it is, it's, it's not very cloudy here very much. It's sunny a lot. And without shade and the sun just beating all day long, it's, it's rough. <laughs> I'm going to take that same brush and just kind of go down the line here of what's next. The next matte shade I'm going to take is this one. There are one, two, actually I don't know if that one swatched so much matte, but there's a good uh, assortment of mattes, uh, satins, and metallics in this palette. I cannot believe October is almost over. I feel like October went by so fast. Um, coming up here, so next week, I'm hoping to have time to film next week so that you guys will have a video uh, the first weekend in November. But if you don't hear or see me, I'm hoping to. Okay, this is just if I don't. Here's my reasons why. Um, my family's coming to visit. My brother's coming to visit with his wife, and we're going to get to meet their baby. Um, my kids have been the only grandchildren on both sides for the last nine years, essentially. And so my brother had his first child and they are coming to visit and then my um my husband's brother also just had their first child um this year as well so we have cousins and so we're gonna get to meet little baby and we're excited about that and i'm also excited because my husband and i have never taken a honeymoon and we haven't ever had like him and I, just him and I, date night away, ever. And so we're going to get to take that in while my parents are here. And we're, I, I think he is just as excited too. And the closer it gets, the more of the reality of getting to drive away with no kids in the backseat. 
like and actually go for a drive so you're gonna have like one-on-one -on -one time to chat which I know I'm looking forward to I I know you know I'm the chatty Kathy in the relationship right <laughs> he gets a little bit more chatty right so that's like my secret I'm like yeah how do you have another one and then I like dig up all these questions you know like I know he'll answer them now right I'm sure you you wives out there have your ta tactics too to get your husband to talk right <laughs> So I'm over the moon excited about that. I'm trying to tell myself I don't need a new outfit for the occasion because I did just, you know, go and get that. I'm thinking about actually bringing um, the video that I shared with you, that cute leopard sweater and those little lace camis from the Buckle. Um, I'll link that video below. Up. Maybe I'll put it up here. Or is it here? In a card. Um, so maybe I'll bring that because that would be nice. And I'm really hoping that the weather will cool off. I think it's supposed to, so we're going to be like in the 70s which is perfect because we're going to be walking we're going to be staying um in austin we've never been to austin so maybe this is a good opportunity for me to ask if you guys have um any restaurant recommendations we're going to be staying downtown but not like on the because i guess i've been told that there's like a more college -y type area and then there's more an area more like for us old folk no we're not old but like mid 30s you know adults <laughs> kind of crowd Okay, what do we want to do next? I want to go glam. So we're we're just going to go next, and I just kind of like to layer colors. When I do my makeup for, like, a date night or just really glam makeup, I layer a lot of colors. And I create a really nice gradient of shades. Camera shut off on me. I like to create a nice gradient of shades, so I'm just going into the next deeper toned matte shade. Now these are all a little bit more, I was hoping this would come off a little more brown, but it is like a really warm orangey brown shade and that's, maybe if we deepen it up here. I moved on to a different brush. I was just using the Chiki, Chiki Hodo GSN 10. When this is one of my favorite blending brushes, it works really well for the crease. It is a little bit fluffier though. Um, now I've switched to a MAC 221. I have a feeling this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm just feeling a little bit more chatty today. It's been about a week. Actually, it's been exactly a week since I filmed last week's Chit Chatter Day. Oh, you know what else happened? So the night before my husband uh, left for his work trip, he went to Las Vegas. Because I guess by the time you see this, he'll be back. Um, he's in Las Vegas right now. And he's staying downtown on the Strip. And he's walking by that big mirage. It was the mirage? I don't know what I'm talking about. Like... The big fountain he's because he's walking to uh, where he's going every day and so the night before he leaves um, we decided to take the kids on a bike ride on a trail after school so we loaded up the bikes it was our first time using the trailer hitch we wanted to see how it was gonna work on our car and whatever and as we're driving there we're we hear this big huge loud thing rock probably hit our windshield and it didn't do anything right but it was just really loud and we're like oh geez that's probably gonna leave a mark you know how many times like a semi passes you and I think that's what it was was a semi truck when you're on the highway and like something hits your vehicle and you're like are you kidding me and this is our newer vehicle we had bought a new vehicle in May not brand new but like new to us and okay so then after we decided you know what we haven't gone out to dinner as a family in a while so we decided to go out for dinner well you know well you don't know but when the Garys go out to dinner we go out to dinner like my husband wants to enjoy himself we usually order a bottle of wine and split between the two of us we do an appetizer we do the whole 10 yards like we're foodies we love to eat we love to kind of like make a big deal out of it because we just we enjoy food and the company and want to enjoy ourselves like that kind of thing so you know that going out to eat's expensive, right? We know that. So I get in the car, driving home, and I look out the windshield, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it just so happened to be a beautiful evening with a gorgeous sunset, you know? And I look at the windshield, and it's just huge dent, and then spider webbed because the temperature had dropped since we went into the restaurant. Since then, it the temperature has has gone up because here in Texas there's like huge temperature swings like we'll be in the 80s in a day but at nighttime we'll get down to like 50s so this stupid crack had spider webbed 
and made it was it had my whole windshield had to be replaced there was no fixing what had gone down so yesterday I spent my morning at the windshield place getting a new windshield on a new car so you know things unexpected things happen I'm like okay well <laughs> that cuts into our Austin fund that I was saving for you know and then like it was like a double whammy too because we had decided to go out to eat but had we known we were going to have to replace that windshield we probably wouldn't have gone out to eat right but it was too late so i was kind of stewing this past weekend over that now i'm going to go into this dark chocolate brown with the same brush now i don't have you guys zoomed in today because i'm using a different lens here that just kind of helps blur out the background and it's so close though that like I can't like zoom in or anything but I kind of like it let me know how you feel about this the other lens that I have does not blur out the background it just like keeps everything in focus and I'm working with like minimal space here and on days where I don't want to make my bed and all that stuff <laughs> the other lens just kind of shows everything unless I like you know, shove myself into this little corner here, which literally I shove myself in. Once I'm in, there's no getting out. Doorbell rings, I mean, they're just going to be standing out there because I can't get out. I'm going to start with this color first on my lid, and I'll probably layer this, and then I definitely want to use this glittery one on top. So I think, and I've noticed this before with Pixie palettes, the colors look darker. They, like, look different in the pan than when you get them on your eye. They're more, I don't know, these, these shadows blend really well though. I don't know how much this palette is. I would venture to say probably less than $20. I think this was a kit though, but I really like these shadows. I have no issues with them whatsoever. I think they're a great drugstore option. I think they're better than some of the other drugstore things that I've tried in the past. Now I haven't like sought out drugstore palettes in a while. And as you've probably noticed, I haven't really sought out new makeup in a while. I'm feeling chatty. This is going to be a long video. What time? Oh boy, guys. I haven't been talking for a while. Uh, I just... And the thing is, in the past, I would be like, oh, if I go on a no-buy, then it would just make me buy more. <laughs> and I think for me, it's just been like a mindset change. Not like telling myself, no, you can't have it, because I can. I like to buy clothes clothes have always been something I really enjoy and house stuff I love to buy house stuff I love to go to the grocery store we went to uh me and the kids went to Costco the other day oh my gosh you guys they have so much Christmas stuff out already it just gets me in some kind of mood I had to hold myself back they had an entire aisle of boxes of chocolate do you know how hard that was to not buy I will go I will be back and this is my favorite brush for my lower lash colors it's the Chiki Hodo Z-10 it's a shorter handled brush and it comes to a nice tip like that so you can not only apply color but you can blend it out really well and you can see it's not a it's not a long brush and you're probably wondering because I'd be wondering the same thing what color is her nail polish it is Nev by Zoya I think just for the sake of using you know every color in this palette I'm gonna take this color right here and put that on my lid as well Now I'm going to take the color Mirage, this liquid situation, take a brush here and just kind of like go like this on the applicator and get the product onto this brush and then apply it. Oh yeah, these are intense. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's like way too much. Okay. I do remember that you need to continue to look down to let these dry a bit. Now these do have larger chunks of glitter, so let's hope that that does not fall onto my face. It very well may, because I didn't use like a sticky, I mean I did prime my eyes though. I don't know, I don't have high expectations of a glitter, I always just assume, you know, it's, it's probably gonna dry. My eyelids move, I move my eyes, like it's probably gonna eventually fall on my face. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Max Teddy eyeliner though. This is a nice warm brown and I'm going to do both of my water lines. It has been a while since I've done some false lashes so I'm gonna throw some false lashes on and a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes and then I'll be back. 
My husband just texted me that at his conference, his day three speaker is Matthew McConaughey. What? However, I'm trying to figure out how an actor, I mean, I don't know Matthew McConaughey's background other than the fact that he's an actor. And my husband just said the same thing. He's like, yeah, but I don't know what he's going to talk about. Because I just was like, well, what does he know about what you do? Like, we're, we're talking worlds apart here. What I have left to do is blush, highlighter, and lips. And we have some fun things. Remember this? The Sephora Pantone Blush Highlighter Palette. It's got this beautiful fall bricky red type color and this gorgeous peach. And both of them are just a matte blush. So I'm just going to throw a little of this on. I know you won't mind. You always tell me you appreciate when I use things I have. And the reality is you can probably find this color in a different formulation, no problem. Did you know that Matthew McConaughey teaches at Texas A&M? Because I didn't know that. And my husband also says that there's a Shark Tank Guys company. That Shark Tank Guys company has a booth here. Well, which Shark Tank guy? My husband travels a lot for work. And, um... He gets to like go to all these different states and see things and sometimes I like I told him I'm like I can't help but sometimes be a little envious that you get to fly around and see all these different states and like you know go out to eat <laughs> and you know it's, it's sometimes I struggle with throwing myself a pity party because I'm like here <laughs> you know what I mean but at the same time like I know he's working but I'm sure oh sorry I'm sure those of you who have husbands that travel, you sometimes might feel that exact same way, like they're getting to see things and you're just like seeing the four walls of your house. I'm gonna take a little of that peach color and just layer it over. This is gorgeous, I really like this. But this palette's really gorgeous. It comes with five different highlighters and I think no matter what your skin tone is, you're gonna be able to get some use out of this palette for sure. Um, now this one called Knit, it looks really dark, does it not? It's actually not, so that's the shade Knit. But this could be good for, you know, I say travel because I do that a lot, right? Um, so there are all of the colors, different, that purple one's kind of fun. I would layer the purple one over something else to just kind of give it like a shift on the cheeks. So I think today I'm going to actually do, yeah, I'm going to go for lace, which I think this is the one I wore on Sunday too. It's like the most champagne beige, which is great for my skin tone. Whoa, that is a lot of highlighter. I mean, they're still pretty buttery though, and I think that they're very nice. They're not dry and chalky like some other um, highlighters that I've tried. Here's the fun part, lips. So we have two liquid lips. I don't love liquid lip. I've had like several of these in the past, but I've really decluttered my liquid lip situation because I just don't gravitate towards it. But I have used these and I do like the formulation. So these are that collection with the Mary, Miriam Macalage. So these come with the, um, these, these, ah, what are these called? The little glitter, liquid glitter situation. So um, I've already worn this color, which is called Coral Bang. This is a gorgeous color, but I don't typically think of this color when I think of like fall lipstick. And then the other color is called Posh Nude. Now the packaging on these reminds me of like the YSL with the bent applicator, just very YSL reminiscent. So there's the Posh Nude and then the coral color. The coral color is really pretty on. Um, this nude color, it's pretty brown. Does it have rose? It might actually work really well. I might try that color today. And then these glasses. These are with Chloe Morello, which I know who she is. She is gorgeous, and she has three sparkly lip glasses, all of which are stunning. I have worn these. These are beautiful colors, especially this pink one. Gorgeous. Okay, so there are the lip glosses. All of them are very beautiful. They're kind of like sparkly like the Buxom ones are. Stunning. This is actually a really pretty nude. It's like a nice fall nude too, because it's a little bit more brown. It's a pretty color and all. Um, it's just a little bit uh, blah, blase. I think you could definitely amp it up though by putting maybe a little bit of this sparkly gloss over the top. That would be pretty. Um, I don't look my best in nudes, but I think what I'm gonna do to just kind of tone down the coral color is to layer it over that brown. Nice. Really nice formulation on this though, very thin. 
but pigmented. That is beautiful. But you know me, I like a little bit of a glossed up situation. I like my lips to look full, voluminous, and glossy. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Parfait, which is the clear, well, more clear. It's got a nice pretty pink shift to it. It's not definitely pink like this one or definitely like a blue shift like this one. I just like a creamier lip look. I don't like a flat matte lip look. So this is the finished look. I'm really pleased with how it came out. I still think it's very fall. I think this look could easily be spring, summer. Why the heck not in winter? Like, you know what I mean? Like, especially on those cold, dreary days, I think having really pretty, bright makeup can make you feel a certain kind of way. I just kind of wear what I want when I want kind of thing. Um, but I'm really happy with how the products performed. I would definitely give my stamp of approval. Just know with these, though, um, be very careful. Now, I can't remember how these wear throughout the day, if glitter falls down or not, so I can't tell you that. And the glitter is kind of chunky. And um, just be careful. But I think, as with any glitter, you kind of... You have to expect that. I mean, you can't expect this to be something that's not. It's it's glitter suspended in the liquid, and our eyes move. So there is that. I love this lip color. I think it is gorgeous. It's oh so fun. So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Let me know what you'd like to see next week. Otherwise, we're just going to keep filming these. More Get Ready With Me videos. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll chat soon. Bye, guys.